So what's new for 2016? Well, one of the first things that, that's changed this year is our county guide is now a multi-hazard guide, and we've added four pages to address things beyond hurricanes um, and new technology that didn't exist back in 2004, such as smartphones. We now have a new notification system also branded Alert Pinellas, which is more robust and capable than our previous system. So in the guide, um, besides the technology trying to focus people on uh, technology, the guide's trying to focus people on basic steps to prepare for any hazard. Um, and, and this is what you'll see or they'll see in the guide when they open it up, these five steps to prepare for all hazards to get them to focus on these basic steps um, with the various tools that we provide via web pages, our notification system, and the guide itself. Um, and they're meant to make sure that our citizens take advantage of these in completing these basic steps. So connecting is how do they get emergency information? And that's vital. If they don't, if they don't get good emergency information, um, then they can't make good decisions. And we want them to get it on the front end of the news, not on the back end of the news. So um, that alert Pinellas notification system means that they can receive text um, and email right on their hip, on their smartphones, um, regardless of where they're at uh, for any emergencies that are going to impact a particular address. We want them to build a survival kit with the things that they'll need to survive for the various hazards that they're going to read about in the guide. We want them to assess their risk from storms specifically, but other uh, vulnerabilities that they have here in Pinellas County, and those tools are readily available to them. And we want them to plan for where they'll go and what they'll do during an emergency. So we're, we're calling it, um, do I stay or do I go? Because depending on where they live in the county, they may have both options available to them, especially when we're talking about a hurricane. And then lastly, planning for recovery after an event takes place and how to stay safe um, and take care of themselves during a recovery event. So I mentioned Alert Pinellas. This is our new emergency notification system for citizens. Um, we encourage them to sign up for as many addresses as they want to track events for. Um, so they can sign up with their home address, they can sign up with their work address, and if they've got children in school, they can sign up um, for their children's uh, school address. So whether it's a localized event that's impacting that address or it's a large event like a countywide hurricane evacuation, um, this is going to be our tool of choice to be able to make sure that citizens are getting the, the information immediately. It has some nice benefits to it also. If they check the box when they register to receive uh, weather warnings, then they'll be getting the National Weather Service's weather warnings directly at, right at the time that they're issued, again, through their, their cell phones. Another tool in our toolbox this year is Nextdoor, um, a social media site that's created for neighborhoods. Anybody can start a Nextdoor site in their neighborhood if it doesn't exist. And as public safety um, entities, we are able to get accounts so that we can actually push information to those social media neighborhood sites. Um, and that proved to be very useful for us in the summer months when we had flooding um, in a, one localized area of the county we were able to use their next door site in order to get good information out to that community. So we encourage you to check out next door and see if, uh, if the neighborhood already has a site or begin one for your neighborhood. So staying connected, again, we're talking about how do we get people to stay tuned in to receive emergency information, because knowledge is power and it's the best way for them to be able to make good decisions. So besides the alert Pinellas I've mentioned, our social media sites are going to be heavily used. So for social media users, please sign up to um, our Facebook or Twitter site. We still like the older technology of the NOAA weather alert radios um, because they go off in the middle of the night when you may not be paying attention to a cell phone. Um, a new tool that folks are hopefully getting familiar with are the wireless emergency alerts. That's also text messaging to cell phones. and. People will probably recognize that most for getting AMBER alerts. So if you get an AMBER alert on your cell phone now, then you're getting wireless emergency alert service. Um, and we have the capability to utilize that as well to get messages out. Then there's always our Citizens Information Center once we're open. Um, and our website um, has a ton of information on it. And I would just point out to, to make everyone aware that of things that they may not think about on a normal basis, and that is, our communication is, of course, primarily for the public, but we also provide a critical function to communicate 
to the 24 cities and the rest of the county organization here um, at Pinellas County, as well as our support agencies through, throughout the community. So it's not just the public that we're utilizing these tool sets for. It's how do we keep 24 cities and all of the support agencies and the county departments up to speed on what's happening. Um, and again, it's through these multiple tools that we've uh, built out for ourselves. And this is before, during, and after an event. It's not just before an event that we're going to be sending information out through these tools um, to the public, the cities, um, and our partner agencies, but throughout the event and then post-event, even if we lose phone service, quite often text messaging still survives, and so we're going to use it heavily. Another tool that's available to the general public is our Doing Things app. Residents can use this app to look up their evacuation zone as well as the all hazard guide I mentioned is available through that, that app as well. Something else new to, uh, to our toolbox this year is a new flood site that we've developed. Um, the county has spent a lot of work on the community rating system in the past year to get Pinellas County citizens a 25% discount on their flood insurance. So we developed an entirely new um, flood site that folks can go to at this link and from there they can access our other tools for know your, knowing your evacuation zone and determining what the storm surge vulnerability is um, for your location. So we thoroughly encourage citizens to take advantage of those web tools. So the 2016 Atlantic hurricane season outlook. Um, they're saying it's going to be n nearly a normal year. Um, I would add to this this is a, a, going to be a no El Nino year this year. So one of our advantages last year was El Nino was here and steered a lot of those storms out into the Atlantic and away from us. We're not going to have the benefit of that this year. So to say that we're going to have a near normal year um, means that 10 to 16 named storms, we have the opportunity for just one storm or we have the opportunity for many storms. Um, but it doesn't change the equation that it only takes one and we're only asking our citizens to prepare for just that one storm. So future efforts that we're going to be working on throughout the hurricane season this year is again back to technology based, um, developing a decision support type of application for citizens to use that whether they're planning with it ahead of time or whether they're visiting the county and they didn't have a plan ahead of time or whether they waited till the last minute to decide to get a plan, um, the idea of this app is going to be to give something to them at their fingertips that, they, that will walk them through the decision-making process, the things that the guide already does for them, five steps to prepare, how do you stay tuned in, what do you need to know, what are your vulnerabilities, and then you come out the other end of it with a decision um, on do I stay or do I go? And we're looking to partner with the Pinellas County School Board's um, Center for Advanced Technologies at Lakewood High Magnet Program uh, on that particular application. So we're looking forward to some more technology to make available to our citizens um, to make it easier for them, regardless of what the circumstances are, to get prepared, stay prepared, and stay in the know when an event actually is happening. <laughs> 